understanding and removing the barriers of the stigma and discrimination is the only pathway, and it's the first step. It is the first step towards uh, reducing this stigma and discrimination. Their philosophy is like saying, if everybody can't afford the same private service, then no one should have it, and everyone should equally share the misery. Canada or Germany, for example, they have well-established public health care system. The average Canadian doctor earns about $200,000. That's about one and a half million Egyptian pounds. Oof. Good amount of money, right? Yeah. Why would a doctor, if he found that much amount of money, even bother to seek out a private facility? And if it's really uh, legitimate, and if it's moral, then why are we... Why was this shattered? Well, uh, why are we trying to hide the fact that we use human fetal cells to obtain our vaccine. But we stand here and violently condemn the one form of confinement that actually seeks to treat them, the one form of confinement that seeks to provide support for them, the one form of confinement that seeks to keep them out of your societal prison, out of the jail system that is ill-equipped to handle them, and out of their own mental prison that is inside their head. You are aware of this uh, methods of transmission and you still demand disclosure of HIV because you think it might affect your work or your, your money. Shame on you. My calls it today, my calls it tomorrow, and God forbid, God, God forbid, my fall down the third area.